Body on my body, baby. How y'all doing, man? Today's video, I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be debating. Well, not really debating, just telling y'all what's better for. What build you should run when you're soloing the raid, when you're playing by yourself. So up here, this is the first playthrough, which is this playthrough right here. This is just, um, damage, this is the damage build. And the same one I used in my video, the other one is going, is going to be my crit build. Now, with the damage build, you do more, your damage is more consistent. It doesn't really fluctuate. And it's relatively the same range. Oh, actually, this is not the same build in my build video. So, this one I'm running. I'm running Auto of War as far as the perks, right? Same memories. But the perks are slightly different. I'm running Art of War, Perilous Focus, and Soul Feed, Immortal, and Founder's Blessings. That's what I'm running for both builds because I just want to see what's better after the patch. What is it crit or is it um, regular ODM damage? So I decided to now war run War Chief on the build so I can have a more accurate stats on. General, generally what's better like damage or crit you know what i mean so the best way to do it is to keep 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 the control group the same and just change the experimenting the experimental group in this case what's being experimented is the going down the damage side or going down the crit side so therefore our perks artifacts crown everything now that got changed we can't, th those are a control group. Those are what we need to be the same. And our experimental group is which path we go down on the skill tree. So the only difference from both builds that are y'all going to be seeing in this video is going to be which side of the tree you should go down if you plan on running um, Aberrant Raid solo to farm for yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's all that is right there. Now, the reason why I didn't show the entire raid, by the way, also the raid modifiers are the exact same. Everything is turned on except for your glass cannon and the first three. Um, the only reason why I didn't really bother showing the first stage because if we are going based off the first stage, the clearance time for the first stage and second stage is different. So I wouldn't really consider that as part of the... as you really stopping it you know what i mean because what if it took me longer to clear the first part than it took me with the crit build so that would like invalidate my testing so i just recorded the from when i started finding aaron as soon as he died the time stopped so as y'all can see the raid the first raid which is the damage raid the pure damage um this and yes let me know if y'all want i will drop the build video i'm still working on the build by the way but yeah it's four minutes and 36 seconds but that video the first video is three minutes and 25 seconds i'm gonna tell you the time of the second video don't worry so this is the second video this one right here is the crit build now the crit build remember is the same exact build as the attack build war war, war out of war Prelis Focus, Immortal, Founder's Blessings, and am I missing something? That's it. Prelis Focus, Immortal, Founder's Blessings, Art of War, Soul Feed, sorry. Soul Feed. Yeah, those are the same exact, and I know y'all like your Pearl, Pearl Focus is a crit is a crit thing. Yeah, I get that, but I didn't want to change it. I didn't want to change it because I didn't want to mess up, so... I just kept it the same because right now I'm really just testing what's better crit path or damage path. But yeah, this test honestly is for people to run. The people that want us to just solo the raids, you know, do solo grinds. Cause I honest, I honestly personally believe that crit is better for for thingy for helping others. Like when you have ten out of ten people in the raid. It's better to go crit, crit damage, in my opinion, rather than ODM, rather than not ODM, sorry. Rather than going just damage because that damage just hinders you. It doesn't, it's not, 
it don't really it don't fluctuate but since it don't fluctuate you don't get to that peak the peak that a crit damage gets to you don't get to the, get to that point so that's that's what it is now one thing i will say the crit the crit side just felt faster but it wasn't faster the crit side took me three minutes and 44 seconds to complete compared to the damage side which took me three minutes and 25 seconds to kill Aaron. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a little tired, man. Busy week. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, man. I really, I'm, I'm glad everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm actually very thankful for everybody that tunes into the stream, man. Even if you're there just to bother me, piss me off. Just know I really appreciate y'all. I like it when y'all stop by, man. That's just nice. It's a nice feeling, man. But this video, I hope it helps y'all a lot by knowing what you should be running. You know, I'm trying to give y'all as much information as possible so this update can be easy for y'all and the next one could be even easier for you. You know what I mean? Hey, let me know what y'all think based on my opinion of this video in the comment section below. Let me know if you think what I'm saying is true, false, or, well, I mean, we're seeing it live right here. I'm not hiding anything to you. It's better to go damage route if you're doing the raid solo. Now, next video I'm going to do, I'm going to have 10 people um, join me for the raid, and I'm going to have them leave, and now I'm going to just solo it. But that's it for the video, though, man. I really appreciate y'all for tuning in. Peace. As you could tell, based off, like, the start of the raid, this is what I was talking about. Look at the time difference. Three second difference. That means I cleared the first stage faster than this because I cleared the boss faster than this with straight damage. But that's it, though, peace.